That's what was on my back. Freaking screw sticking in my back. Here, let's move the razor blade too. How you doing today? Welcome to Life with Bilsif. I'm your host, friggin' Bilsif. Well, I'm pretty sure I got the right connection this time. 5 sixteenths fuel line adapter thing with bobber. We're gonna go downstairs and we're gonna see if it's the right one. So let's go and take a look. Welcome to the show. As you can see, I've got the fuel line kind of hooked up here. Nothing is tight in this pot yet. So we gotta tighten this up and we gotta run the other fuel line over to this one. But I started to fit, oh shit boys, hold on here. I started to fit the old cross member in here and now I'm realizing that maybe I should have put the fitting on the return fuel line first because now the cross member is kind of in my way and cocking me right over. So I think I'm going to put the jack back up a little bit, take this cross member back out so I can work on the return line. I'm getting there with the tranny. The tranny's mounted kind of and the old mount's in and we're just kind of fitting her up but we got a little bit of work to do. The old drive shaft there is about an inch too damn long. I can't believe it, boys. Girls, peoples. Oh, can't reach. <laughs> Let's just drop this for now. Get it out of my way. And I gotta figure out what size bolts I need for this and drill a couple more holes in the damn frame too, because I had to move it up quite a bit from the 400 Turbski. All right, there we go. So we'll just slide that out of the way for now. Try not to drag it because it's painted. There we go. And now I should be able to see a little bit more in here. Oh yeah, there it is. See, now you can see the return line. Actually, I know you can see the return line, boys. She's right fucking there, see it? There's the return line. So I'll have to clean that up with a pair of emery clothage. And then we'll run this line probably under that line and then we'll tie them together here and this and that. They both go up here and what not and thing with Bobber and Bob's your uncle. Oh, I already got the end on there, good. Wasn't sure if it did that or not. Hey, I do want to talk to you for a minute though. This is pretty serious stuff here. Here, let me turn. So as you know, I put the engine and stuff in on my own. And the reason why I did that is because I, I have people that can help me and I have friends. But the problem is when you're a YouTuber, a lot of people don't like to be recorded. So a lot of friends don't like to come over and help me because they know that I'm going to probably be recording this. And if I don't record this and get their help instead, then you guys are missing out on what I'm really doing. So it's kind of a catch-22 and you'll find... A lot of YouTubers like me are by themselves. Once in a while, they have some friends on. Like, Brian doesn't mind. He comes over once in a while, and Sean doesn't mind. But other than that, you know, not a lot of people like to do this kind of stuff. So if you're wondering why I just do it my own, it's better off sometimes just to do it yourself and get her done, if you know what I'm saying. So I just wanted to stop there for a minute and talk to you about that. And if you think about starting up YouTube and just being a vlogger like I am, just remember, you'll be by yourself more. Friggin' right you will. So there you go. Food for thought if you're thinking of starting up the old YouTubes. And it takes a long time too, unless you get lucky and some people really like you. Me, not so much, because I do what I want to do. Not everybody likes that. Hey, how do you like my headrest, by the way? Pretty good, eh? I don't know if you've ever been under a truck or a vehicle before, but if you don't have a headrest, it really sucks dick. So, where were we? Okay, so what I gotta do here is I gotta get, oh fuck, a piece of sandpaper. We gotta clean all that fucking paint off around there so we get a good seal. So let me get the hell out of here again and get something to clean that off with, Captain. <sighs> yeah. Should have brought it down with me, but no. Why the hell would I do that? That would be smart. And I'm not fucking smart most of the time. Coffee, anyone? Mm. How you doing? Well, I'm up here. I gotta bring down this too and maybe measure up for the drive shaft. I'm looking for emery cloth. Let me know if you see it, because I can't see dick. I had a piece and I probably lost it. Fucking right, I lost it. Here, let's put that down there for now. It's not looking good, Jim. It was right here with all this stuff. Oh well, I guess we're using sandpaper. Sandpaper works better anyway. That's what I say. All right, here we go. Ready? I'm not. <laughs> Ah. I don't know why I was so gung ho and get this done, the transmission in and the engine in. Should have finished all this first, but hell, what's the difference? That's what I say. Here, let's see if I can get this around the tranny and the tranny can hold it. Hey, look at that. Oh, yeah, we did. Can you see that? I can. So we're just gonna scrape this paint back with this for now, which is working really good, actually. New technique, have an eye. Okay, there we go. 
Sandpaper. Oh, look at that. It's right there. Perfect. Ooh, that feels good. Fitting. Here goes nothing, boys, girls, peoples. Let's not drop it. Or we're gonna drop for sure. This better be the right fucking one. Sleeve, over. Fitting, over. Oh yeah. This over. Make sure it's all the way down. Yep. Now we start to tighten it. Oh, we gotta straighten the fuel line a little bit. Here, let's move up a little bit until we get started. There we go. Hold on. What's really going on here? Oh, careful. We're gonna get it started first a little bit. And then we'll pound it. There we go. Now we can slide it down and on. Oh, dick. He is a little bit of a dick. I got a little benderoo there. It's causing it to be a little bit of a penis. If you know what I'm saying. It's almost gotta be straight. Oh, yeah. Should have cut her up a little further. We'll get her. I'm not too concerned about it, to be honest with you. Just gotta have patience. Can you see? I hope so. I'm trying to get you on the right angle to dangle. It's hard though. Yeah, we're gonna have to straighten that line. Frank! Oh God. Let's just get something to straighten the line. More bullshit. In and out. Here we come, you ready? Headrest. Perfect. All right, so I brought a screwdriver to stick in the hole. Oh yeah, just fits too. And then I brought a pair of pliers to hold the line. And hopefully we can straighten her up just a little. Something's happening. Well, it didn't straighten much. Oh, we're running some good fucking Mastercraft here. We bent the screwdriver, just trying to pry on the screwdriver. What's really going on? All right, let's try this again, Jim. Straighten a little bit, not much. On, on, on. Oh, hey, another thing I want to bring to your attention is I just want to take a moment of silence for Ken Block. Block 43 forever, boys. Hey, okay? I watched all his videos and everything else, and I used to have a snowmobile, and they're just, it doesn't matter how much experience you have on them things, son of a bitch. They get a lot of people. I lost like four friends from snowmobiles, or four people I know now from snowmobiling. That's why I got rid of mine. Well, let's just take a moment here for good old Ken. Appreciate anybody that took a moment there. You're gonna be best. Dolences go out to Ken's family for sure. On this rough time. Son of a bitch, eh? Hey, you never know, boys, girls, people, you never know. Where were we? Oh yeah, tightening this goddamn thing. There we go, hey? I got the best tools for this, you know? Don't buy AN fitting tools. Just use like regular goddamn open ends. Why wouldn't I? Whatever works, Captain. I know that when I fire this thing up, I'm probably gonna have to go through all these lines and retighten them anyways, because they're probably gonna leak. I watch a lot of videos with the AN fittings, and almost every one of them, they're retightening the lines. Especially when you're like me, you're not 100% sure how tight to really go, if you know what I mean. Because I don't really know how tight to go. I've never used AN fittings. How tight do you go? Leave your comments down below if you have used AN fittings, and let the dirty old Bill some... No, but that feels pretty fucking tight. I think I'm gonna stop there. There we go. So there's one fitting, and while we're down here, we might as well tighten this one up, because we're right here for the old fuel taker in her, and we'll probably have to get the right sizes down here for this one. Nope, they're different. Fuck sakes. One side's right, the other side's wrong. Why wouldn't we? So we gotta come back down and tighten that up, obviously. But now that we got that done, we can slap this line on for the return. Oh yeah, right on. There it goes. Slap that on for the return, and we'll bend her in a little bit, very gently. There we go. And now we can run the line up like that. Maybe put a bracket there, and she'll go right up there, nowhere near the exhaust. That'll be perfect. There you go. Now, if you're running AN fittings like I am, make sure you decide where you're going with your AN fittings, because if you're coming all the way down like I am, you get an AN fuel filter, and it makes things a hell of a lot easier. That's good, that's good, they all have to be tightened, but that's good, and that's on. 
And Bob's your uncle. This is gonna be fucking decent. Now what I also wanna fit is the tranny lines. We have some A and tranny lines down here, which is right here, which has to go to the transmission, which is, I the fuck up there. So I just wanna see how this is gonna go. Oh, they go out that way. Holy, let's get over here and look. I gotta move my head pieces and everything else, the lights and, hold on boys. Let me get you a better angle to dangle. And you can, you can come with me. Where are you? Get over here. You're really not that far away, are you? You can come over here and you can look up at me in case I don't get you the angle of this one. All right, so if you look up here, hopefully, where's my lights? The training lines are up here, as you see. So basically, we've got way too much line, is what I'm saying. Like this line is longer than dicks, but that's okay because if they're longer than dicks, we can keep them out of the exhaust for sure. Oh God. But I don't know which one's the return line. Let's get this one started. Maybe. Maybe I should have put these on the transmission first too. Oh God. Oh, they're going. I gotta look up and see what line is the return high pressure line and which one's the other line. So that'll work like that actually. Cause I wanted some slack and that makes me feel better because now I could probably go like this. These lines are stiffer dicks. No, it's kinking. Don't kink. You can't kink. Why are you kinking? All right, so these lines are too long. We're gonna have to cut, take the fittings off and recut them. My God, what happened? Let's go up here and unhook it for a minute. <laughs> ah, just when you think it was easy. No go on that, oh. Here comes a train. You know how much I like trains when I'm doing videos, eh? They're freaking awesome. There we go. So we'll just let that release. And then we got the other one, which is right here. So we'll feed it down the frame and we'll get it started as well. Then we gotta kind of know where we are. That's what was on my back. Freaking screw sticking in my back. Here, let's move the razor blade too. I'm sure we don't need a razor blade. All right, here we go. Here we are. Hey. How come it's so much closer to you now? Well, that's why I gotta go this way. Hold on. Let me get situated. Okay, are you situated? I'm situated. Oh, look at it. I'm already leaking oil. I haven't even started it yet. Oh, that's from priming it. Sorry about that. Okay, so now that I got that done, we can go like that. There we go. So there's one, and then there's two. And I should have put these lines on first. How in the F am I ever gonna tighten them up? Acquiring minds wanna know. Oh no, Greg, I'm good, thanks. Yeah, no, I got lots still, I appreciate it. Okay. If you don't want it, you can leave it there, I'll just put it in my collection. Put it in your collection, I'll just throw it back here by your door. Thanks, man. Okay, but if you need more, let me know, I get no problem doing it. Sounds good. Radio, bud. Appreciate that. What are you wrenching on now? I uh, just put the engine back in, I'm just trying to run some lines. You do the engine here? It's in it, it's in the truck. Getting there. No, day. no, that's right. I already talked to everybody. Thanks, Greg. Yeah, no Appreciate it, man. There we go. Check that out, boys. So there we go. We can put the fuel lines. Can go like this. And then they go up here. Nice and neat and tidy under the reflector. And up to the intake. And then the train lines go this way and down the frame all the way up. Instead of running train lines along the engine, we ran them into the frame. Because the headers come here. They're kind of close, but not really. Hey, does that make sense? Kind of, but not really. Oh, there you go. I can move them up higher. So there you go. They'll go up there somewhere. I want somebody to come over and tighten them son of a bitches for me. Anyone? Thanks. Appreciate that. How in the fuck am I going to tighten them? What have I done? Oh, the oil's coming out of the valve cover. That's where it's come from because they're priming the engine. See it? Just pissing out. We don't even got pressure yet and it's pissing out. But the valve covers are on there loosely. Now, you know, he's still got to paint the bottom of the pan and the bottom of the engine. But hey, like Greg just said, Rome wasn't built in a day. Fuck no. But look at that floor in this truck. Does it ever look better? Holy cow, except for over here. Need a new inner fender. 
but that's okay. All right, so now that we're done that, we're pretty much done under here for tonight. I just wanted to get some lines kind of settled in and see what was what. Over there, we gotta check on something over under here. Let's go over there and check on the linkage of the tranny. See if it's gonna be close or not. I forgot about that. We gotta run a uh, 45. Where's my light? Fuck. We gotta run a 45 on the transmission here because that doesn't reach. <laughs> so I got a 45 at the backyard. We'll just stick that on there and then that will be up like that. This here is the shifter cable, which goes into this pod over here. And, oh, there's park. So actually this one will work, I think. Oh man, that'd be nice. There it is. There we go, so you can already shift. Well, that was fucking easy. I am gonna have to change the dash though because this is built for a three speed, not a four speed, but it looks like it'll work, Captain. There you go, that's on. Well, I'll be dipped. It needs a washer on there, but I'll do that later. When I'm going down the road and I can't get it in drive, you know why. You'll be able to say to me, hey, Bill. I'll be say, what? He said, you forgot to put the, uh, the washer on that. It's probably fell off. So this should be pretty good once I get her all done. Hey, are you right, boys? Girls, peoples, can you see? I can't. I don't even know if I'm gonna have decent footage for you today. It's the only problem with crawling around under a truck. You never know what's really going on. Here, you come back over here. Sorry about that. Glad you're not fucking just that camera watching. You'd be dizzy and dicks. So here's a yoke we gotta put on. Where's my freaking headrest gone? Oh, I left it over there. Get over here. There we go. Light. You know what, to be honest with you, I don't mind laying under the truck because it's kind of comfortable. So they say the transmission yoke's got to be in two inches minimum at all times. So we're talking, it goes in that far. Oh, I went in too far. Okay. Minimum two inches. So right about there. So I got to measure from there to there. About that much. So what I need is, because like I said, the one I got, I only need an inch out of it. So I need... 69 inches end to end. Fuck, how are you gonna forget that number? You can't, 69, baby. So 69 inches, hey, the one on my truck's like 78 inches. So actually this drive shaft isn't as long as I thought it would have been for being a one piece. This was a two piece transmission before, but that was a one piece in it. And this fucking camera will not stay on my goddamn head for nothing. what do I say? 69, good number. So I'll have a one piece drive shaft to this pig, I hope. It looks like it's not gonna hit anything. There's center. Oh fuck, no, lots of room, boys. And you know what? I didn't even have to cut my crossover pipe out. Oh God, I could have left it in, really? For frig's sakes. Let's go up and we'll get a size for that bolts I need for the crossover. And that way we can put it back in so I don't have to leave the jack stand on the transmission. There we go, you ready? I am not ready. Cause this bolt here I put in temporarily is not big enough. Okay, so what I need to pick up is seven sixteenths bolts for this mount. These should work for this part. Now I don't think they're for this, but I'm gonna use them for this because why wouldn't I? Okay, so that mount ain't gonna work for this tranny. So I need a different mount. 400 mount, no goody, but bolts goody. So set them aside. We'll slide the cross runner back in here and we'll use it to hold the tranny back up for now. Lines out of the way. Good. Okay, mount. Okay. Back up. Bolt. Nut. Something. No. Yep. I don't know. Where are you? Bolt. Oh, God. Bolt, I said. Right there. Okay, that will hold her up for now. Kind of tape off the light. There we go. Jack down. There we go. Training back on jack stand again. Back on. Do that. What not? Think about her. Well, there you go. Next, what we gotta do is tighten up those fittings, put the starter back in, get the proper bolts for this cross member, and get the right training bound. And then we can bolt this back in. Now that we got a measurement for the drive shaft, we're fucking good to go. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Glad you're all here. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Working on the truck again with Dirty Old Bill stuff. I like doing this. I wanna get her running though. That'll be soon enough. So have a good night. Love y'all. And we'll see you on the next one.